Welcome to Figure Feedback, my name is Jeremy, and this video is for anybody who is interested in or already has a Flash Forge Adventure 5M 3D printer. And by the way, if you do want to pick one up, it is on sale again for $2.99 on Amazon and on Flash Forge's official website if you live in the United States. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave links in the description as well as a pinned comment below so that you can check it out. And I'll also leave a link to the playlist that I've made about every single video that has to do with this printer so far. Now, I know that a lot of people have been waiting for all of the parts in order to build the enclosure, which will allow you to print things like uh, ABS and ASA a lot more reliably because it'll be enclosed. But Flashforge has not released all of those parts yet, like the plexiglass door and all the screws and stuff like that. But if you're not really interested in a full enclosure, but you're interested in a semi enclosure, Flash Forge has released some files over on their wiki page and you can download those files, put them in your slicer and you'll be able to print this semi enclosed enclosure. Let's take a look at it right now. So here it is. It is called the Starry Sky Mod Kit for Adventure 5M. So it says that this allows one to enjoy the fun of the printer and customization and all parts can be printed with Adventure 5M without accessories. And this is a semi enclosed design. Welcome to customize your enclosed version. So here's some pictures of it. If you decide to print it and you went with this particular color scheme. So it's very kind of cutesy cube kind of design here. And here are all of the different files. You can have the uh, .3MF file, they have the installation guide, you can download the whole project, or you can download all the STL files that's in a zip folder. And as far as the filament, they have a little example here from all the blue filament that they used, you see how much of it they used here, nearly 3,000 grams of filament here for the blue, and then 163 grams of filament for the white. You see, like it's not too much white there. But all in all, the print time is two days and 20 hours, almost three days to print everything, with a total cost of around $61.94, which could go up or down depending on the filament that you're using and how much that filament is. So, how does does it all to come together? Let's take a look at the installation file. So here is how everything is going to go together for each individual piece. So you see here, you have these little plugs that go into the holes to get everything combined together. And that's what it looks like once everything is enclosed. And then you have to put the printer down into this bottom part of the enclosure. Then you have these riser pieces that you put along the side. And then for the top, it kind of acts just like the bottom. They are connected with these pins to form a nice square, nice little puzzle piece right there. And then that slides right there on the top. And what you'll also have to do is you'll need to uh, take off your screen and disconnect the ribbon. And then you'll have to reattach it right here on the front here. But the one thing that I don't see that they don't have pictures of is the back. So I'm not too sure how um, like where the filament sensor is going to be necessarily or even if it's covered at all. It may just be completely open back there. But yeah, this is the design. It's easy enough to put together. And if we also take a look at what it looks like inside of the slicer. Here's one of the pieces here for the base. This is the A base. And as you can see, this takes up the entire bed. I'm talking like edge to edge and I accidentally moved it. And you see it's already over the boundaries of the plate, but this is how it just comes in just like that. Now I do think you're going to need supports for this, um, especially for like this area here. So you may need supports for this. They didn't say that you don't need support. So just kind of err on the side of caution. But if you do go to print this, let me just slice this plate here. You do it in Orca slicer and probably some other slicer that you might want to use. You see here a G code path goes beyond the uh, plate boundaries. And then there's also another warning here for a floating cantilever. So basically they're saying, hey, I think you might need supports here. So the reason why it says that um, the G code path is going beyond the plate boundaries is because of this skirt here, the skirt that prints around the model. 
you can see it like right there at the very bottom right there at the front so if you want to kind of get rid of that um, and you're using orca slicer uh, make sure that you go down to this section here in that you're under the advanced settings and that you go to others right here and then you see it says skirt loops so just turn off the skirt loops just make it zero and then you re-slice the file uh, i think that you may need supports for this but if you try to do auto supports, then the uh, supports are going to go over the plate. So if I just enable supports right here and I just want to do tree supports and then I re-slice the file, you see that these tree supports here now go beyond the plate. So that is definitely not going to work. So in order to alleviate this, you may just want to do some painted on supports in the slicer, paint on your own supports in these areas that you'll need them so that they won't go beyond the plate. Um, so yeah, this is definitely going to take a, uh, a decent amount of filament in order to do. I don't think that this is something that I'm going to be doing, but if you are curious or if you want to print a semi enclosed enclosure for yourself and you like this design that Flash Forge is presenting then yeah you can go ahead and download that file I'll make sure to link to it that's in the description too so that you can download the files and get printing and if you uh, pretty much do it non-stop you'll be done in a few days so that's it you guys thank you all so much for watching I'll be back soon with some more videos about this printer but until then take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon